Five children remain at Children's Wisconsin following the parade tragedy. Four of them are in fair condition. One is still in serious condition. An 11 year old dancer is one of those still hospitalized. She remains in intense pain. She's on a ventilator tonight. Fox 6's Aaron Maben is live near Children's Wisconsin with her continued fight following the tragedy. Aaron. Well, Ted, Jessalyn Torres has made improvements since she was nearly killed at the holiday parade. Her uncle says she has a ways to go. He also says he wants the suspect responsible locked up for good. She has an immense amount of strength. Jessalyn Torres, a huge, huge fighting spirit, is in the fight of her young life. Eight cracked ribs, lacerated uh, liver, kidney detached. Um, her intestines are bruised as well. Her uncle Ryan Conkey describes some of the injuries she sustained at the Waukesha Christmas Parade after an SUV barreled through the route on November 21st. Torres was performing with her dance group when she was hit. It looks like she turned around from hearing the commotion and was struck directly in the chest by the grill of the vehicle. And, and thrown 20 or 30 feet. Prosecutors say Daryl Brooks used a red Ford escape to cause the chaos. It is heinous, horrific violence, and there's no way that he should ever be released. Conkey was at the parade and witnessed the aftermath. Sleep has been hard uh, because I do think about it. Meantime, Torres is sedated and on a ventilator. Family members are by her side, offering words of encouragement. It's just we want positive uh, interactions with her. So I usually tell her about her cousins and her brother, her sisters, and how they miss her, how they love her. She is surrounded by a lot of love tonight. Several members of Jessalyn's dance team. They're also recovering from being injured at the parade. Reporting live near Children's Wisconsin, Erin Maben, Fox 6 News. We do hope she's feeling that love. Erin, thank you.